Hello and welcome back to this junction. This is just a quick video really. Um just gonna put the cab tanks back onto the loco, onto the chassis. I don't know if you've been watching any of the other videos but we've obviously gone through the we've gone through a good clean down. Uh, I've checked all the fixings as fittings as I've gone. I know that the gas is holding pressure. Um, we've got this. I've repainted and touched up the steam oil canister. I know the the tanks clean with the water. So we've cleaned down all the connecting rods and bits, as you'll see in other videos. <coughs> just just where I've cleaned them up, and the loco is generally just a good clean all over. So lot better than it was um, yeah so just gonna fit on I, I know on one of the videos um, I was saying about the batch pack I don't know if you remember but on the on the cab the battery tray was particularly bad all the batteries had leaked and so as I said I would um, I fitted a new battery box with that holds the AAA batteries so I've re-screwed it on so there's a little screw there and then a nut on the inside of the tray under this strip here I just popped a little hole in the battery box just so I can get the thread through and then just nut it, a little nut on the end that's nice and secure actually really solid <coughs> I'll obviously just check things and make sure on its first run that it's good to go um, and, and, and sort of staying where it should be. There's a bit of touching up I want to do, um, still required a bit of touching up, but I'll do that. I can do that any time really. So it's just, just really just touch up the head of the screws, just touch them up. There's a little scratch there that I just want to touch up. Um, a couple of little chips, shall I say, um, and a couple of bits on the so there's like where the brass dome fits over the water that's rubbed away so I'm just going to have a look really I'll get a paint um, and cover that up touch that up a little bit I want to just see if there's anything that I can perhaps pull in there and possibly as I said in one of my videos just to sort of hold it slightly off I'm not even sure if it would work to be honest it might just be what it is and unfortunate but I suppose once it's on you don't see it. So anyway, <coughs> I'd on the, on the previous video, I removed the tray. You'll see that, and the and the old thread that was holding the the hinge onto the cab. That's obviously done and looking hell of a lot better. I've got the the new connector there because I was waiting for this. I've had to solder this onto the box. Batteries are in. That closes and stays nice. There is a little hole there, I could put a little screw in if I wanted to, but I don't think I will for now. It seems to be solid enough. Um, and I've got a nice little button head screw and a nylon nut. I've got two of those so I can put the hinges back on so it swivels on the cab <coughs> and lose that old thread bar because I didn't, I didn't like that much. So yeah, here we go. I'm just gonna. I'm going to obviously take the steam oil drain screw out. I've got the cab that's already been cleaned up, as we've seen. Looking hell of a lot better. So it's just a case of being mindful of this harness. I'll just put the harness there out of the way. And as I lower this down and over to the loco, just going to make sure that the leads for the servos on this far side are just within the in the wall of the tank, which they are, and that should that should pretty much drop in place. It's just making sure that the tanks in the threads in the screws here 
as we've seen. I'm showing you where they are, where they're positioned <coughs> on the on one of the videos. But yeah, that's it. I mean that that's placed into position. So all I'll do now, I'll lay it on its side. And the fixings were you had to tighten that one back up and then it's refit the one here and then the one at the back here and then obviously the same the other side. Just get the screws. There'll be four four of them screws. Just go ahead and hopefully without dropping them everywhere. I'll just I'm just going to start them off. I'm not going to completely secure them. Just start them off, and then I'll uh, I'll secure them once they're all in. So this one I did think this one might be a bit tricky. So once you've got it lined up and in the hole, I should be able to just get the screwdriver on. And hand start that like so. Just get it started. I'll turn it around. Lay it down. <laughs> Do the other side. Same again, got the one at the back here. And then this one here again. See? <coughs> Alright, so to completely secure them, secure them, I'm gonna I think I'm gonna do it like this, so I've got no sort of side pressure on the cab or, or anything like that. Just make sure. I'm going to tighten up the back ones first, or in this instance, the ones at the bottom. Like so. Do the ones in the middle, these two here. Do the one at the front, just secure that. We're just looking to make sure that the tabs are behind the screw here as you just nip it. <coughs> and same again this side. On there, just make sure it's behind the screw. that and there we have it so with that with that now fitted actually looking looking quite good now it's definitely looking a lot better now it's been cleaned it'll be put the cab roof on It 
may require a little bit of perhaps manipulation around here slightly. I know it's it obviously been crushed at some point um, because this the, the rod here, but on the other side, did actually break through. So I have had to re-secure that. But um, I mean, it's a lot. It's a lot better than it was just after doing that, to be honest. So I've got some screws. The screws I've actually got are just again some M3 button heads, and all I've done is just filed, used a little needle file just to clean up some of the threads. So obviously, when I pick it up and swivel it, it should be a bit smoother. Those two on there, got a washer, pop a little washer on. And then to finish the nylon knot. Just a little nylon knot is obviously a bit fiddly. I need to get it started and then I can uh, get hopefully get a little spanner in there and then just an alligator do it up from the outside. Okay. I've got the spanner. And I'm obviously I'm just looking to I'm just tightening up but I'm not gonna be I'm going to leave it slack so obviously the hinge can still twist and, and move on the thread. So I'm just looking to sort of secure it up enough, but I need movement. It's mainly I'm just looking to get the end of the thread at the end of the nylock nut just so I know that the nylock. Well, the nylock itself actually got it, and then therefore it shouldn't uh, it shouldn't undo itself. I'll do the same again this side. There you are. I can just see the end of the thread. So then, in theory. So, as I said about, it might need a bit of manipulating, so it, it's, unfortunately it's not quite sitting square, so I'll have a little look, it's definitely a lot better than it was, but it's slight overhand now and then it sort of comes away here, so I'll have a little look and apply, but obviously it works. Opens, closes, it looks a lot neater than the old thread. And definitely healthier with a battery. So then left really is just to make these connections. So there was the one on there. And then this can connect onto there. Can't sir. So just a little little lot now. Everything's fitting a lot better. So it swivels up. Looks a lot neater. Closes down. Really equal, fitting, fitting quite nice. So I'm quite happy with the results. There's a couple of things to do. There's obviously yeah, I'd like to get these the Russell nameplates. I'm going to paint and clean them, and stick them on at a later date. 
There are a couple of accessories as you've seen on the first video that uh, I'll paint and get ready and put, put them on there somewhere. But overall, I'm really happy with the outcome. So I think my next stage is to fire it up, get a pressure test, uh, and fire it up and, and see see how see how she runs really. Yeah, so yes, if you like to watch them look out for those videos if you subscribe it will just help help you out get notifications for when they come on and you know maybe uh, be a bit of enjoyment to watch so thank you very much thanks for watching see you again